In our very first dynasty on this channel, head coach Dill took over the Indiana Hoosiers and took their program to the next level. During that series, you not only saw the development of key players such as Jalen Lucas, Dusty Wright, and Rusty Hamilton, but you also saw the development of this channel. My very first upload on this channel, I just sent it into the abyss that is YouTube. And I'm so greatly appreciative of all the support and love you guys have shown on this channel, getting us all the way up to 700 subscribers, closing out on that 1K mark. And seeing College Football Saturday, man, maybe want to reboot a dynasty series so today we are making our decision on the next dynasty and that decision is going to go ahead and be the game of football was not entrusted to the timid or the weak Psych! One of the most heavily requested team was the Nebraska Cornhuskers. So we're going to be taking them over and Nebraska hasn't done anything in so long. So it's time we restore their football program to the greatness that it was. And we're saying goodbye to Matt Rule. Now this first episode right here is kind of an overview of what to expect. And I want to go over some of the changes that we're going to be making. So I usually run like Oregon's offense. We are going to be in a pro style offense for this rebuild. And really why I want to do that is a lot of like the stuff that we liked with like Dusty Wright, Russ see Hamilton we can now value other things and use some different style of players. And really the main thing that I want Nebraska to become is that powerhouse that gets players ready from college to the NFL. And something I'm adding to this series is the NCAA 14 Dynasty Tools. And I wanna show you guys what this can do because it can get a little bit crazy. We can edit the top 25 ourselves. Like one time for Indiana, we should not have been in the national championship. So I would go ahead and like edit that back to where we weren't. Also, we get the college football playoff finally. I know a lot of y'all watching that will be excited for that. But the big thing that I think is just so fun is the offseason right here. A lot more transfers, a lot more people declaring for the draft early. This is going to add a little bit more and make it even tougher and more realistic. And now what we're going to do in this very first episode as well, we're going to do a overall like team breakdown and we're going to set our first depth chart at quarterback right here. They still have Casey Thompson. I know Casey Thompson, I believe he's at FAU right now. Um, the reason for that is there isn't like a, a totally up to date roster for college football revamp right now this is the most up-to-date that i have seen so that's why he is still here i will be starting jeff sims because he is the starter in real life kind of want to put Ch i'm just gonna put chubba purdy as qb2 as well and the reason for that is i really don't want him to leave in the transfer portal that's something that we do have to see hopefully he doesn't i also don't want to use casey thompson because i feel like that would be cheating and like i said he's not there in real life so i really don't want to use him now what you're gonna notice though across the board for starters seniors everywhere running back right here anthony grant and we have a redshirt freshman right here gabe Irvin. seems like a fun player uh emmett johnson though seems like I kind of want to get him a little bit more involved than Gabe Irvin. I don't know. I mean, definitely two different styles of running back, like Gabe Irvin, six foot, 215. And then we got uh, Emmett Johnson, 5'11, 190, a little bit faster as well. Now, our receiver, uh, Marcus Washington Sr., Trey Palmer looks like a beast and he actually is currently in the nfl so this is kind of like last year's roster but trey palmer gonna be a beast for us for one year we got literally seniors everywhere but some uh some of the freshmen are like younger players that i'm kind of excited for we got tommy hill right here some would say tyreek hill's brother okay no they wouldn't because he's 78 speed but anyway we got a uh, jerrion boner right here too six foot three wide receiver 85 speed that could be really exciting uh victor jones another freshman right here seems to be a solid player 70 overall we got tight end right here don't love that nate right here he's probably more of a blocking tight end but 63 speed man Whew. i want to do anything passing uh we might have to find someone but i really like chase androff right here six foot six freshman with 82 speed uh someone we could try to develop and i think he could actually be a beast for us now offensive line right here you're gonna notice we got a senior center senior right guard and junior right tackle so two of our starting offensive linemen are leaving starting left in a senior starting right in and backup right in are both seniors starting dt is 
is a senior. Our starting right outside linebacker is a senior. Our middle linebacker two is a senior. Our right outside linebacker, guess what? Senior. Our starting corner is a senior. Our slot CB or our CB3 is a senior. Our fourth CB is a senior. And someone I'm really excited for, um, this dude right here, Malcolm Hartzog, should be a beast. Already a 77 overall as a true freshman and he's 88 speed or CB2 right now. We're going at least four years with this team. So he should be like, what do we say? In like the 90s last season, maybe, maybe. And then at free safety, we got Miles Farmer, a junior. And finally, strong safety right here is a sophomore. So he's someone that should be kind of nice. Ooh, actually, we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a battle right here. Gifford versus uh, Buford right here. One's a little bit younger. One's a little bit faster. Oh, man. Whoever has more zone coverage, I'm starting. Okay, yeah, I like I like our decision. But yeah, that's pretty much the roster breakdown. That's how things are going to work in this dynasty. I am so excited to play our first games and I'm really excited for the first offseason i hope a bunch of our good backups they transfer they get up on out of here and it makes my life really really hard but yeah boys i hope y'all are excited for this rebuild hope y'all are excited for this dynasty man if you are make sure to leave a like and subscribe now, if you guys want even more content check the links in the description i have a bunch of other youtube channels that do focus on madden but i'm doing some rebuild stuff with my cfm channel as well so if you like this type of video you'll like those type of videos as well also i stream over on twitch a lot so i'd love to see y'all over there but yeah boys nebraska dynasty i'm excited man other than that, though, y'all, has been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.